Hey moms, I want to talk to you today about having your cake and eating it too in regards to being a working mom. It really is possible to say no to mom guilt and yes to investing in real estate while being a great mom at the same time. So let's talk about that for a minute. Every mom I know has had some form of mom guilt at one time or another, regardless of whether you're a stay-at-home mom, which is a full-time job in and of itself, or whether you're a working mom. But it does seem more common with working moms, right? I heard one time this expression that, that kids spell love, T-I-M-E, and it really resonated with me. And we all know how fast they grow up, and even though they might drive us crazy sometimes, that time, that time with our kids is precious and it's absolutely priceless. I don't wanna miss a minute of it. And this video isn't about what's right or wrong for one mom or the other. It's not about shaming anybody for their decisions and there's no judgment whatsoever, whether you're a stay-at-home mom or a working mom. As women and as human beings, our children need to see us being supportive of each other and helping each other out. Being a mom's a tough job, but it's also the most rewarding thing that I think I will ever do in my entire lifetime. So I wanna be the best mom I can possibly be. But what I do wanna do with this video is really enlighten and empower other moms to the possibilities, the freedom, the flexibility, and the profitableness of being an investor in real estate. One of the things that I love about being a real estate investor is that my schedule is extremely flexible. There is nothing more in this world that I love more than my family. But I have to admit, I really enjoy working. I like it. For me, you know, it's a great creative outlet. Uh, I like the feeling of contributing to our family's financial future. I love the accomplished feeling that I get when a house is done, when it's completed. I'm proud to have taken that ugliest, most rundown house on the street and turning it into this beautiful home that a new family gets to enjoy. It's a pretty awesome feeling, I gotta say. Becoming a real estate investor, you know, it also has one of the highest income potentials of just about anything else out there. And I do it around my schedule, mine. I put my family first. And I still have all of those feel goods about being there when my kids need me. I get to take them to school. I go to all of their school parties, all of their events, all of the after school stuff. I stop in and have lunch with my first grade daughter. I help in the classroom. Mom guilt sucks. <laughs> But so does not living up to your potential if you're somebody that, that wants to work and have the flexibility of also being a stay-at-home mom. You know, most of the time when we hear that expression, um, you know, have your cake and eat it too, it's something that's too good to be true. But if you're somebody that wants it all, you want to be that working mom, but also be able to have that flexibility, real estate is where it's at. So I encourage you to just go for it.